All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing another pair of Vans. This time it's the Comfy Kush Old Schools in Blackout. So um, it's been eight months, a little bit more than eight months since I bought the Ultra Ranges and they have kind of hit the dust at work. So this is my purchase that's gonna hopefully replace it. So this is Vans' is Comfy Kush. This shoe is a rendition of the old school with Comfy Kush technology. Comfy Kush technology, pretty much, um, to sum it up, it's really light. It has this insole inside that uh, is supposed to be comfier than the usual Vans. So it's foam, and then on the bottom it has the classic waffle sole. Uh, this compared to the Ultra Range, where it had the foam sole, uh, is much of an improvement at work. I wouldn't really have much grip, so I'm hoping that these, this bottom, will uh, replace that foam. Um, this shoe compared to normal old school. Miguel, why don't you get an old school pro? Uh, in my opinion, old school pros are good for durability because they're skate shoes, but they don't have comfort um, like this would. So that is why I uh, settled for this. This is size 10 and a half. It is true to size, uh, 10 and a half and everything, but ultra ranges. For vans so uh yeah um black and black fits in with the work uniform pretty sick um it's really light maybe just as light as a ultra range this the lightness really does help out when you're having eight hour days and you don't want to be dragging your feet all day long um in the box included was uh two shoes duh um no added pair of shoelaces like pros do, but uh, I thought this was interesting. I thought it was interesting that it came with this kind of foot insert, unlike traditional vans where they come with uh, tissue paper. Maybe that says it, has, it tells something about the about the buildup of the shoe. Maybe it decompresses after a time. Who knows? We'll have to see. Um, so overall, the shoe was. $70, that's pretty steep for a pair of shoes. But luckily, a family member did some prior shopping and came home with a $25 discount, so these ended up being like $50 with taxes, so I was pretty pumped on that. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me take off these tags so we can put them on the feet. If you're a longtime Vans supporter, you know that, uh, that these stickers are kind of cheap and they need some improvements so vans if you're watching improve your stickers come on man I always put them on my refrigerator and they always peel off gravity peels them off and so uh this is just a little comfy kush tag if you didn't know yeah so let's uh let's come down here So these are my uh, slip-on pros, anti-hero collab. They've been lasting me a while. I'm loving them. Nothing, nothing beats slip-ons. Also, I went with the, um, the old school because I've gone through. What did I go through? I did skate highs. I did slip-ons. I did ultra ranges. And uh, learning from putting on shoes, wearing my brother's shoes one time to work, I really realized that I like the the low style profile. I wore some skate highs to work and I, I was just not feeling it. It was really killing me. It's such a distraction around your ankles when you're used to them being free. So, uh, these fit pretty snug. Let me zoom out a little bit. Pretty darn clean if you ask me. Oh, get the weed out of there. Um, I was debating ma made for makers, but, uh, I just have comfy cushion. Maybe I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Nothing, can't really go wrong with a classic blackout, old school. Classic, timeless. And uh, yeah, they fit true to size. Hopefully uh, my feet don't die when I go to work. So there it is, man. There it is. There is your uh, review of the 
Oh, there's your view of the, what is these? Comfy Kush, old schools, blackout. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you learned something. See you in the next one.